Geometry number 173, layout of a proof, a segment, a second segment proof, okay? So, I wasn't going to actually do a proof, but then when I started explaining it and writing it on the board, I thought, you know what, I should do it as a proof because it'll make more sense. So, here's our drawing, and I color-coded it to make it a little bit easy. So we have this long purple line and a little bitty blue line above it. We have a long pink line with a little orange one right here, and then these are red dotted lines, okay? So hopefully that's going to help you see what I'm doing. We're given that XA, the purple one, and XB, the long pink and orange one, are seconds to circle Z, okay? We need to prove that AX, the purple one, see, it's got a purple line above it, times XC, this blue one, is equal to the pink one, XB, times XD, okay? So my hint is, or the hint is, to draw the lines AD and BC, these crisscross lines, these red dotted lines, well, you're not going to do them in red, but do that before you start because that's going to help you show congruency and how things are similar, okay? So draw that first, and then here's our proof. So try to follow me, all right? Angle, AXD, A, or I'm sorry, XAD, XAD, okay? So we're talking about this angle right here, okay? Is congruent to XBD, which is this angle right here. So these are congruent, okay? These two angles are congruent because angles that intercept the same arc are congruent, okay? They intercept the same arc. Angle X is congruent to itself because of reflexive property. That's easy. And then triangle AXD or XAD, same thing, XAD, this triangle up here, is similar to this triangle here, XBC, because of the angle angle. Remember we did that a long time ago? If two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So, now we're at XA, which is the purple line, over XB, this pink and orange line, is equal to XD over XC. Our reasoning is that corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Does that make sense to you? So now we're going to do the proof statement that XA times XC is equal to XB times XD because of the cross products are equal. So, if these are proportional, then those are equal. Does that make any sense to you? If you have to pause the video to really, really look at this, then do so. You'll see it makes sense. It's very hard to explain with all these different lines, but hopefully this one being purple, this one being blue, this one being pink, and this one being orange will help you see what I did, but if you come across a proof like this, draw the lines right here to help you because then you'll be able to use your reasons like angle, angle, and stuff like that, okay? So, that's the layout of a second segment proof, and I'll see you next video.